Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, we're gonna find out when can we expect to get paid on the second wave of stimulus checks, and how much are we gonna get paid? But before we dive into that, this video is brought to you by Webull. Click the link down in the description and sign up, deposit $100, and get two free stocks. But enough talking, let's dive straight into the video. And we're back YouTube over the next couple of weeks after we get our stimulus checks I'm gonna do a whole series on how to invest the $1,200 if you if you don't need to spend it on bills how can you invest that in order to make more money in the future but on when are we gonna get paid right now we pulled up the calendar of August if we zoom in today is the fifth now by the seventh they're supposed to come up with some kind of agreement some verbal deal or maybe a written deal by the seventh this Friday we're supposed to come up with a deal right now if we do reach an agreement and come up with a deal on the 7th they're gonna spend the 10th through the 14th right here we're gonna take the 10th through the 14th to actually pass something maybe on Monday they'll have a vote on maybe one chamber pass something there's a counter offer there's another passage on the 13th, but hopefully if they reach an agreement and maybe by Friday the 14th, hopefully they have something that Donald Trump can sign. Now, if this happens, Treasury Secretary Mnuchin has already said that he'll be able to get out 50 million checks by the 21st. Right here, Friday the 21st, he'll be able to get out 50 million checks in the first week of of the signing of the stimulus checks hopefully by friday so right now that is the time frame on when we could possibly receive our stimulus checks if they reach a deal no later than friday the 7th now we're going to dive in right quick to see how much can we actually get paid from the new stimulus checks all right so before we get into that there is actually the hills act by the republicans and then there's the heroes Act by the democrats the democrats are pushing for us to get more money and they're they're standing strong on their side because they're putting out some ridiculous high numbers than our first stimulus check that we got but the republicans are not liking it right now because if the bill does not get passed the ones that are in power would take all of the blame and once that's in power right now all the republicans so the democrats have a strong position right now in order to get some of the things that they want approved because the republicans do not want to get blamed for the stimulus check not getting passed what's up for debate is that they want to get twelve hundred dollars for every adult and then they want to get six hundred dollars a week for unemployment but trump said that he do want to supply unemployed people with money but he don't want to discourage them from going out to look for a job which makes sense because if i can make 600 dollars a week to just sit at home or i could go work i'm not as motivated to actually go look out for a job while i can collect 600 dollars a week from unemployment now that is said to be extended all the way out through january 31st if this gets approved now the first stimulus check you got 1200 dollars if you file your taxes back in 2018-2019 and you got $500 per dependent that you claim that was under 17. Now under the new stimulus check, they're seeking to get $1,200 per person and now you can claim a dependent that's over 17 or under 24 that's in college. If you claim them under your taxes, now you can get up to $1,200 per dependent that you sign. Anywhere from $500 to $1,200 is in the works right now. So the first way of stimulus checks, if you was under 17, cool. If you was over 17, let's say you just turned 18 and they claimed you, you didn't get any money for that child at all. But now they're saying that you can, if they're over 17 or under 24 and in college, now you can receive stimulus money from them. Now the HEROES Act says that they're placing a cap on how much a family can receive to $6,000. So you could claim three dependents for $1,200 each Add it on to your $1,200 and they would cap you at $6,000. Under the Hills app, they're not placing a cap on how much you can receive, but they're saying that you're going to receive $500 per dependent and not $1,200. How we're going to get paid is that 
However you got paid from the first stimulus checks, you would be the first wave that would do the direct deposit straight into your bank, or however you got paid through the first stimulus checks, and then the second wave would be the mail checks that they did last time. So if you got it through mail the first time, you're probably gonna get mailed the second time if you did direct deposit you're gonna be a part of the first wave. So if you got it by mail the first time, you might wanna change it over to direct deposit to be a part of the first wave that get paid out. So let's dive into the computer right quick and pull up a couple of scenarios on how much money you can make. All right, here we go. We're taking a look at this article. So here we are at a look at a couple of the acts. The CARES Act does not place a limit on how many children you can claim. The HEROES Act will pay the most per dependent with $1,200, but place a cap of $6,000. And then the Hills Act, they don't care if you was under 17 or over 17, as long as you was claimed as a dependent, you will get $500 per child. So now you can start doing the math on how this all adds up. Let's take a look at a couple of different scenarios. Here it goes. Uh, if you're single, head of house, married or married, your income dependent under the CARES Act and Hills Act, you make over the minimum amount to receive the $1,200, so you can pay $950. Uh, 140,000 as the head of household, so you get the $1,200. We'll get the 950, plus the $500 from the CARES Act for having one child. The $130,000 if you're married, you'll get the 1,200 for each adult, and then the 500 for each kid, so that's $3,400. And then if you're also married, 100,000 under the CARES Act and Hills Act, 500 per child, that'll put you at $4,400. It is so confusing right now because no one actually knows what they're gonna agree on, but these are rough estimates. In fact, here's a handy dandy little calculator right here. If you click that, it'll take you to this calculator right here to help you roughly guesstimate on how much you could receive by typing in your dependents, how much you make if you're single, married, or head of household. I'm gonna leave that link down in the description so you guys can find out a rough estimate on how much you will probably receive during the second wave of stimulus checks. So yeah guys, hopefully by this Friday that we reach an agreement, take the next week to do all of the voting and the counteracting and the counter voting, and then reach agreement by that Friday so they can ship out 50 million checks by the 21st of august hopefully that's when we receive our money i will do an update soon also don't forget to get your two free stocks down in the description you click that link you sign up you deposit 100 dollars and get two free stocks value up to 1400 dollars each but other than that i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show and i'm out peace